So the server room behind me has gotten a lot of upgrades since the last time I showed it off. It got a gigantic UPS that conditions power and acts as a battery backup, and more recently, it got an upgrade to our solid state editing NAS, going from normal SATA SSDs to NVMe SSDs. But what hasn't been upgraded is the organization. This place is a disaster. And we need to make some space for Petabyte Project, a clustered storage server that we're working on with Seagate and 45 drives. So we've teamed up with CableOrganizer.com, Ubiquity Networks, Bonded Logic, TrendNet, and Protocase to give this place a complete makeover. So come along for the ride. I mean, look at this. This is awful. Okay, so the plan is as follows. Clean up of the room, clean up of the servers, cable management of the room, some reconfiguration and network switch movement, upgrading our Wi-Fi here to our new Ubiquity gear, making room for the petabyte storage cluster by consolidating some of the roles of some of our servers, um, adding acoustic dampening to the room so that it won't be so loud out here in the studio and adding dust filtration to the room so we won't end up with the same situation we were in before with everything being clogged up with dust. Uh, you, might, you guys might remember Johnny from previous episodes of Linus Tech Tips such as installing a UPS. I lost the paper like planogram thing for our patch panel um, so you're on figuring out what everything is going to, right? Yep, exactly. Okay, cool. Um, so, <gasps> oh, wow, are you rolling? Roll, 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 are you rolling? Okay, so that is a perfect example of what can happen when you cable manage your server room like this. I just accidentally stepped on one of our power squids and I knocked out Oh no, did I knock out new Wanix server? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, well at any rate, sorry Johnny, I was just gonna say, so all the like bonds that we set up in the switches, yeah. I don't think a single one of the storage servers other than new Wanix, which I just put in, yeah. still has any of that stuff still plugged in. This is one of the ingest stations mm. for footage and we're gonna be moving this actually to um, to a tower out here instead. Because what we discovered was as much as it's nice to have like your GTX 1070 6950X Extreme Edition systems like behind lock and key, we discovered that there are just issues with USB 3 signaling that prevent all these high speed peripherals from working properly with long cables that go into the rooms. Do the need to be on the internet? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> Link state changed to down! Well, while we wait for uh, the vault to sync file systems and all that, we can move pretty much everything that's not bolted down out of here. Okay. You know, it's, it's amazing how my server room could end up in this condition, right? Uh, oh, balls. Uh, this is my current solution for a PDU or power distribution unit. So I have these um, like dollar store power bars. Um, we have to shut this thing down. Uh, hey Dennis, are you still copying files on the Ingest One? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, I have to shut it down. We, uh, we need to tear apart the room there. Okay, so I had all matching drives in it, Seagate 6 terabyte ones but we completely ran out of capacity, nowhere to put anything, and I had to expand it somehow, so I <laughs> Oh, to those of you asking what happened to the 10 terabyte drives that were in the desk, oh, suddenly there are six terabyte drives, yeah. These are not officially supported by Unraid yet, so I can't boot this system unless I pop these drives, wait for it to boot up, and then hot swap them back in. Pretty much everything 
is off now. Yeah. It's so quiet. Now what? I've never done now, this before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the lifeblood of my company. I'm just like pulling it apart. No big deal, right? No big deal. Okay. The like janky lifeblood of my company. It's like we're a media production company. No, literally nothing can happen without this room operating at 100%. Or at least the like 60% that it does. Oh, okay, okay. This feels so wrong right now. The power bar is connected to the power squid. The power squid's connected to the other power squid. <laughs> Actually, no, this power squid goes straight into uh, the back of the UPS. Okay, so that's not, that's not that bad. Two layers of, uh, ow, oh, ow, that hurt. No, it's fine. Okay. I'm fine, just hit myself in the face. I gotta tell you, I have actually lied to the staff about outages before, yeah. where they've been like, oh, what happened? And I, I was like, oh yeah, it was like uh, a crash. <laughs> but like I stepped on a power oh, cord. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just pulled this power supply out. Was that not locked? There we go. Jeez. That's on one of the new servers too. What's my excuse for that? The way these are cable managed is like horrible. <laughs> stuck in there. Yeah, it makes it very difficult uh, to get at anything. I have a plan for these. Right. So once everything's out of here, we're gonna like drill a hole in the top of the uh, in the top of the cabinet. What is this? Oh man, yeah. There's a lot of unnecessary cables going out through the wall here. This is so funny. Look at this. Here's like my pathetic attempt at cable managing back when there were only five going there, and then I just like all these are not cable managed because they went in after the fact. Woo, okay. Wow, that makes a big difference. Power cables. Eh. Eh. You know what's funny too, is we just bought a bunch more power squids and power bars, cause we were out of them. And I'm returning like seven to the population. I think this is about as torn down as it gets until it's time to start pulling out servers. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, really not my favorite rails. Yeah. Got it? Oh my goodness, it's so dusty. Ew! So while I'm dusting out all the server rooms, server rooms, server rooms, Johnny's working on is getting all of the switches taken out of the rack because every single one of them needs to move for us to do our new cable management schema. Whoa. Ah, this is our oldest switch. I've never actually blown it out before. This one's kind of a funny config. The uh, guy from Datacast recommended like a modern Core i7 and like all this good stuff. And I'm like, could I just put some old hardware that I have lying around? He's like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. So got like a p80 motherboard with like an 860 or an 875k or something like that and we do get like random restarts from time to time so that's another reason to move this over to a virtual machine oh samuken oh. there we go okay go ahead so these are both fully solid state new servers yeah you got it yeah okay Yep, that's, you know, just the oh. entire archived history of everything LMG has ever made. Yeah. I gotta be careful with these SSDs. Hey Pella, I'll show you something that hasn't happened since we moved in here. Oh, the door still won't close. Damn it. Yeah, the door closed on the server cabinet. 
We've partnered with Intel and Telesign to talk about two-factor authentication. It's a pretty important topic, and if you care about online security, you should definitely have it activated wherever possible. If you don't know what two-factor authentication is, it's an additional layer of security that you can add to your account beyond your password. In fact, we have a full video about it that you can check out here. Enabling it minimizes the chances of having someone gain access to your account even if they key log your password, for example. Tons of websites have the feature, but it's up to you to enable it. So participate in Intel's Turn On 2FA campaign today. All you have to do is turn on two-factor authentication for your primary email address and one other account. After you've done that, head to Twitter and use hashtag Turn on 2FA for a chance to win free pizza. How can you go wrong? Telesign will be giving away 40 free pizzas every week, and Intel will also be giving away a Lenovo Yoga 910 as the grand prize. Awesome. Uh, we'll put this by the door. What could go wrong?